Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today's video is going to be on the Mitsubishi Evo 10 manual clutch change. We're going to change the clutch, put a twin plate clutch in it and also show you the master cylinder upgrade we do on them which is a must when you do a heavy duty clutch on one of these cars. Got some nice cars in the car park at the minute. We've got a couple of Bayside Blue R34s, loads of Evos as normal, Evo 10s, Evo 7s, Evo 9s, um, Supra over there. Um, and an Audi TT RS. So um, let's see what's going on inside. Got a couple of um, Evo 9s, one outside, one in here. Um, this one's going through some performance modifications. We've got all the front end off of it, bumper off of it, We're doing an intercooler kit, uh, hard pipe kit, and then we've got some nice HKS coilovers to go on it as well. And just behind that, we've got a lovely E46 M3. The boot floor mod, yeah, the reddish kit. We've done all the welding under seal. We have a mini restoration on the side of that. We've done an inspection too, we've done a head gasket, we've done rod bearings on it. So yeah, major job on that. We're just coming to the end of the end of the job that we're going out on Monday. And then over in this unit, this is where the long-term projects sort of go on. A nice skyline. R32, that's come in for some welding work actually, it's just had some rotten seals, so we've built up the seals. It's been a couple of weeks of work actually, but um, there'll be some more coming on this, but we've pretty much made it all look OEM like it hasn't happened, so that's um, all going back together. This one is a really cool car actually, this is a Mitsubishi Evo 7, we've just installed a Quaife gearbox, um, it's a forged engine and we are putting in a Cybex CCU, so Josh, Josh is working his magic inside there, getting the flat shift and all the electronics working, I think. So let's go over to Ray. He'll show you this Evo 10 and he'll go through the process of putting the clutch in. Morning guys. So today we have a manual Evo 10, pushing about 450 brake, I think. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the clutch out. We're putting a CD twin disc, as Reagan will show you. And then we're doing the Magnus upgrade. So basically that takes the master or the slave cylinder on the clutch, the plastic one, you get rid of it and you put a seven to nine metal one which doesn't fail and then you put the Magnus end on the inside of the car onto the pedal which doesn't fail again. So I'll show you as we go. I've drained all the fluids, I'm about to pull the subframe off and then I can access the transfer case, I'll take the transfer case off and then drive shafts out and then pop the gearbox off and then we can see how bad the clutch is. As you can see, transfer case is out. So next up we're going to drop the car, strip the top, get to the bolts on the top and drop the gearbox. So gearbox is out as you can see. What we need to do now is clean it, remove this old lease bearing, take that all out. The old clutch is down here on the floor. We're changing to a new XCD twin disc, as you saw there on the table. And if you look up here, we, need, we just need to clean this as well. And then it's basically just reassemble. As you can see, we're putting the XCD twin disc in. And a common mistake that a lot of times we have seen when pulling these apart. Underneath here, you'll see there's a paint mark. When you buy these clutches, they've marked exactly direction if you don't put it in right it'll cause vibrations and imbalance and so on so when you install these if you are doing it on your own always make sure you follow the painted mark and put it the right way round because as you can see these are sided so it will say gearbox or engine side basically see transmission side Okay, so I've removed the old release bearing, which is down there. New Exceedy release bearing that came with the clutch kit is in. I've cleaned the shaft, cleaned inside, cleaned the shaft on the back here, re-greased everything. Good to go. Okay, so moving on from the clutch, clutch is all installed now. Next part is this Magnus upgrade. So basically what it is, is the stock slave or master that's on the pedal is plastic, which is here. 
So this gets a lot of flex in it. And when you're pushing the clutch pedal on, obviously an uprated clutch, it's not disengaging it as it should. And it fails up on the top here. And it, this fails inside here, the cylinder. So we put in a seven to nine, which is a steel one with a Magnus bracket so it can mount onto the same position as the original. And all the adapter pieces are here, as well as, if you look over here, over here, Reagan, is a braided line. So from the slave down there all the way up and around. And also we've got adjustability on the pedal. So once we have this all in, we still have to adjust the pedal with this bad boy. So this will sit onto the pedal like that and we can adjust it to dependent on how far you push the pedal down because you don't want to overextend it or maybe when your foot's off the clutch, the clutch pedal's like up here and then you're trying to do like U-turns to press the clutch, you know? So yeah, let me show you. Okay, so there you have it. That is the Evo 10 clutch install. Um, so yeah, basically I just wanted to go through um, a couple of other things that you could look out for on the Evo 10 manual gearbox. Um, so a lot of people, when you have the gearbox out, we offer the option to have a look inside the gearbox. A common problem with the manual Evo 10s is the diff pins. Um, they do wear. So we offer a diff pin upgrade for these gearboxes. It's something inside the gearbox, inside the diff. Um, we've got some metal pins and some spider gears and they do wear in standard form. So we have developed an upgraded version of these and that is very, very popular, very common. Um, you wouldn't know it's happening until you sort of strip the gearbox down um, until it does get really bad and, it, and if it does fail then it can cause you serious problems gearbox failure so it's probably worthwhile um, spending the extra few hours to inspect it while the gearbox is out um, something we would recommend and so just to give you an example of price um, so the diff pin upgrade i'll put a link in the bottom of this video so you can click on our website to take you to the page where it displays the information if you want extra information on the diff pin job um, when we do get the next one in we'll do a video on it but um, for now the diff pin gear kit is about 165 pounds labor to do it and the diff pin kit comes out at approximately 500 pound around that sort of figure so it's not a huge spend but it's a well worth um, investment for prolonging the life of your gearbox so that's only on the manual evo 10s that fault so well worth looking into as for the job you've just seen in the video, straightforward clutch replacement, it's pretty straightforward and simple. Um, it's probably the best part of a day's labour with the Evo 10s, you've got to drop subframe, so we charge like eight hours to do that job. And then the Magnus kit, you can add on a couple of hours to do that. Again, we wouldn't change a manual, we wouldn't upgrade a manual clutch on a 10 without doing that Magnus kit, because as Ray said in the video, it's very common for a standard clutch and a uh, master cylinder fail. Um, and then especially when you put a high pressure clutch in like the twin plate we've just fitted, you're obviously putting more pressure through the pedal and that's gonna put a lot more strain on the standard master cylinder. So as it being plastic, it will fail um, without a doubt. So yeah, we wouldn't recommend reusing your plastic one if we we're upgrading the clutch. So that is a must. Uh, when you do a clutch, you need to do the Magnus. So yeah, hope that you found that video useful. We'll put a couple of links in below um, for the diff pin upgrade and our links to our website. So any questions, let us know. Um, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up and we'll see you on the next one.